and we have some symptoms to show our viewers. So in case you're having some of these pains, look out for some of these. And doctor, let's go through them. Back pain, obviously. Definitely. Sciatica, that's a huge one. So that's where lumbar spine stenosis is felt most. When patients start to develop a woody, numbing, cramping sensation going down their legs and thighs, sometimes all the way down to the toes. Numbness, tingling, cramping, and weakness are all neurological symptoms. So nerves come from the brain, they go through the spine, out into the legs. And if those nerves are compressed, which is what happens with lumbar spine stenosis, patients will have those symptoms in their extremities. I noticed one on the bottom that said foot drop. What exactly is that, doctor? And is that a common symptom? There it is right there. Not a common symptom, but a scary one. So with terminal nerve compression, meaning that when there's just no room for that nerve to breathe whatsoever, the extremities may just stop working. So that's a sign of a really sick nerve when the foot is just weak mm -hmm. and uh, the patient in foot drop is unable to lift the foot and that's very painful and obviously not Sometimes a... by that point the pain will go away oh, and does? all that's left is permanent disability. Oh my goodness. You really don't want to wait till that point. Okay. What about bladder issues? I sometimes hear that people with that lower back pain are starting to experience bladder issues. How do they correlate together? So that's a real scary one. So the same uh, pathophysiology. Nerves come from the brain, they go through the spine out into the legs but some nerves go to the region of the bladder and control our bladder function. So with severe nerve compression, as occurs with lumbar spine stenosis, rarely patients will report that they are unable to feel their groin and they become incontinent. Now, that's a really scary one. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, uh, those symptoms um, demand urgent intervention.